So my intermatic uh, timer is not rotating. I don't know why. Um, but I just want to show how it was wired. This is uh, this is the line coming in. And this is the load going out to a plug where I plug in my pump. And I'm going to just let you see how he has wired this up. I noticed he didn't ground the plate, but I don't know that he has to. I guess it's all grounded together. I say the plate, I'm talking about right here. It's right here. He didn't ground down to the rest of the grounds. All right, I'm trying to do this with one hand. But uh, I'm just gonna let it sit in there. So he's got ground coming up, ground going back, obviously going into the plug. He's got I don't know what he's got here. <laughs> I don't know if this is the the hot line coming in and then going back over to the plug and then he's come back from the plug over to here I don't know but if you can help me on this tell me what you think he's done right or what he's done wrong the white wire of course goes to the motor behind the timer it runs the timer that's the other one I'll pull this back out so you can see those small wires come up to the motor He's got maybe this is the load or the line rather going back down into the to the plug. But you can see what he's done there. Pump runs, I get power to the, the switch on the timer. But if I want to turn my pump on, I have to come out and Manually turn it on. Um, I've got a switch on the house right here. The line goes all the way back to my panel way over there where I've got a 30 amp GFI. The conductors come down to like a switch that's guarded in the box. And then the rest of the line comes in all the way over to here and up so there you have it let me know what you what your thoughts are I'd be sure interested in finding out thanks for taking the time to watch and hopefully I can get this thing going <laughs>